welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I just got a new hair dryer today that I found on Amazon called the Professional Hair Dryer. Uh, I liked it because I saw that it has a really small mouth and it's a travel hair dryer. It goes like this. I have no idea how it blows or anything. I just like to try new things. It comes with a little attachment, so of course I have to run down here, I'm not even prepared. Don't even know what I'm doing, but I need to immediately try it out. So because I don't want to like spend hours mixing, I think we're going to go simple, oxide black, titanium white in my pouring medium. And I'm going to pick, I have no idea what I'm picking. Um, this is my piggy drawer, by the way, all my pigments. I want to use something that like I never hardly use to kind of get out of my color comfort zone. Um... Okay, what about, I I don't think I've used this color in a year. This is Syrah. It's actually really, why don't I use this? I guess I'm, I don't really gravitate towards the like red tones, but it's pretty red purpley, which, which I really like. So why don't we do Syrah? And because we are doing this, I think it needs a bit of a light foil. You know what I mean? Like, what about a light pink? How would golden peach look too pink i don't know if you guys can see hold on uh maybe too pink eh what about like a relaxed pink like a ballet slipper i know it's hard for you guys to see in the light how's that ballet slipper i feel like you know on tiktok i don't know if you watch tiktok when they do like what's my fit today and they're like oh look at this necklace that i'm wearing with my outfit but I'm doing it with paint. Um, okay, you know what? Simple, let's do it. And maybe I'll use white cell activator. Uh, all right, let me mix and we'll get to work. Okay, change of plan. What I realized was a few videos ago, I've already mixed up my ballet slipper with black and white. So what I chose instead, by the way, check out, I'm just mid mixing, but I want to keep you updated. Check out the Syrah mixed up look at this color so can you see so pretty so what i decided to do was i grabbed um tlp athena which is a rose gold we'll check them out oh you can't see together now in my mind i'm like you know what that's still pretty dark maybe i will add <laughs> i need a better system to do this the ballet slipper, but then I figured it might be too pink. So then I said to myself, should I mix? This is like, I feel like a monkey because I'm just doing all these ridiculous things. Okay. Simplicity and ballet slipper together to take out the pink a little bit, or should I be bold and go sterling? So I wish you guys could vote, but sterling is a beautiful um, silver. Okay, so because this is quite gold and they're quite like warm, and what if I had the sterling to make it pop? Or do I take a little bit of the pink out with the simplicity? Hmm. If I was like playing it safe, I'd do this because this is a little bit more crazy. But you know what? We're gonna do it. Okay, keep you posted. Okie doke. So I have my <clears throat> pillow paint down, which is my usual Gleden Essentials eggshell. I have my black, my white, and my three pigments mixed up. I'm just thinking what? Oh, I, so I've mixed up actually Payne's Gray Cell Activator. Um, so I know I'm going to top it off with the white. So I have to stay with that. So now I have three pigments and a black. So I'm going to start probably with Athena as my first layer. Now, I just mix these paints. Normally I would wait a day, <clears throat> or at least till the bubbles come out, but who has that time? Quite impatient. Oh, by the way, this is a 10 inch round. I normally mouth blow my 10 inch rounds, but hopefully the mouth will be small enough to make this work. And I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, you know what? Before I put the more paint down. So in this, um there are three options the first option is a fan which is cold but it's a stronger blow the middle option 
is a lighter blow but hot and then the top option is full blow and hot i wish there was a cold option but there isn't so i might have to do the middle low hot option we'll see how it blows all right so on top of her we will do yeah why don't i just do this i'll do the black the sterling and then the white uh, if you've been following me, you know that I've opened up my Patreon uh, class that I'm calling Blue Modules. And I just want to say, for those of you who joined, I'm so humbled and so excited. And thank you so much. I'm really overwhelmed by your interest. And I have about, so far, 16 modules planned. Um, it's been March break, so I haven't been able to sit down and do them yet. But they are coming and I'm super excited. I'm just tapping the air bubbles out. So you guys are the best. If you want to learn more about the Patreon, you can look at my link in my bio. It's super fun. And I love connecting with you guys. And I started like a private Facebook page for us to connect. Super fun. Okay. These colors don't look so bad so far. You know how I like to get my boob lays out, right? Okay. Finally, we're going to do white and my cell activator, and then we're gonna blow it out, right? Get those boobleys out here. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna go like this. All right. Who's nervous? I am. So, let me, eh, I'll just pour it out. Okay, here we go. Bloopity bloop. And middle. Okay, I definitely over blew it. And I just wanna see, cause I don't like this one. Let's see what the, what the high fan does. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna to toss and redo with the high fan because that low fan wasn't um, working for us. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more pillow paint right on top and we go again. And this is how, although the colors, I don't know if you can see the sparkle yet, the colors are pretty fun. So I'm just gonna put some more right in the middle because that's where I blew it out hard. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing again. And let's see if the fan, the cold fan is a good option. Also depends, my pillow paint's quite thick right now. For a thinner pillow paint, um, it definitely might blow out better. So you have to keep that in mind when using a hairdryer. All right. There we go, a little silver, a little white. Doopity doop. Oops, <laughs> that's a lot of white. Okay. And my cell activator. All right, we're gonna go cold and hard. Oops. All right, here we go. Okay, it's a little intense. I'm gonna have to mouth blow. It was a little too intense. If there was like an option for a middle, That would be great. Um, you know what I mean? And that's the problem with a lot of these hair dryers is it's hard to find a perfect balance. Now, I actually don't mind what's going on in the middle. The outside's a bit of a crazy mess, but we can like play around with that, right? Um, let me take a little one of these. This more in the middle. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is gonna even look nice. But, you know, pretend. I wish I had a little 
skewer. I ran out of skewers. So I have a big Amazon list that just keeps growing. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? We don't know. I, so the colors though could be kind of neat. Oh, if you ask me, wait till you, I bring it to the light so you can actually see what's happening. And you'll let me know about this color combo. And maybe I'll do one without this crazy hair dryer. Although, was it crazy? Yeah, it was a little unruly. But maybe it's just because, oops, I need to practice a little bit. You know? I don't know. All right. Let's spin and see what we've got here. I'm just spinning slowly because I don't want to make a huge messy disaster. dainty and pretty you know there's a bit let's see uh, what do we, I mean some cool spots but I don't know I might do a mouth blow to compare you know I'm not like super happy with her. And I do see a little bloop in there. You know, get that bloop out. Um, what am I looking at? Meh. I'm not crazy about her. Um, let us, I'm going to do one more spin. I'm going to bring you to the light just so you can see the color. And then hopefully we'll get a happy ending if I just do a mouth blow so you can see the difference. And just to show you, you know, sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it's the hair dryer's fault. You know what I mean? And that is a okay. Not all hair dryers can work nicely. There's some really cool like areas, but it's kind of a fail for me. I'll bring you to the light and then we'll get to the mouth blow. <laughs> Guess what I did? I did it. I didn't like it. We're going to start from scratch without that cockamamie blow dryer. And we're going to use these colors and make them work because now I'm determined because I mixed them up. I'm really annoyed that my hair dryer is a fail. Although, honestly, I probably could play with it a bit more if I wanted to use it. So, but meh, not today, Lisa. So, you know what we're going to do? We are going to do, it's gonna mimic a split pillow, which is what I do when I make half and half. You know what I mean? Split that pillow, because remember when I spin, most of it, the edge is gonna come off, okay? That was the sterling. This is the, am I sure I wanna do this? Yep. This is the, you know, Syrah. Split that pillow, make a big mess. I'm gonna do a lot of this because when this stretches out, I don't want it to flocculate too much, you know? Flocculate is when <clears throat> the paint stretches too much and it gets kind of like, looks very like dirty and like it broke apart. Uh, there's some white parts I don't like, but whatever. All right, you know what I should do better? Let's close this gap. I just used everything I mixed up, but we don't care. You know? Okay. So let's pretend and we're going off the edge. This is like my background, okay? Boo blaze. Boo blaze. Now, um, what I have left simply is we're gonna go black. I mean, yeah, black. Okay. We're gonna go Athena. This might be insane. But you never know until you try. And then 
white. See, don't go, my spinner's not 100%, you know? I'm just gonna drizzle that white. Drizzle, isle, okay? And we're just gonna mouth blow and have some fun and hope this works or else this is a whole painting session that is wasted. Okay, here we go. I hope you can see that blow. All right. Right? Maybe. Oh, someone's at the door. I hear Penny and Sneakers being very mad. I'm just going to wait a minute for that to sink. Meanwhile, let's fix our edges, shall we? Most of them are probably going to go off. I, I do want to see some of that background. So... That's Penny, the Great Dane, by the way. She hardly ever barks, so that must mean somebody's here. Oh no, I hear dogs in the background. I think they're barking at the neighbors. Oh yeah, it's a weird, oh, you know what that is? It's the baby. Okay, so every spring, the foxes here, they put my neighbor's house for some reason, and this lady isn't even very nice, okay? but they have babies under this lady's um, back porch. And the mom stands there and does this like shrill screaming. It sounds like, I don't know what it is, but she's protecting her baby obviously. But the noise is like so difficult to handle, but good for her for being a good mummy, you know. But still, I don't know why. And it, so it's two houses over. So all spring we hear this like, but like really horribly loud no one likes it but you know it's nature and the lady purposely comes out and like does all this gardening and the fox is like lady stay away from my kids and she's like nah you know anyways i, I like that there so that's what the commotion's about okay I'm gonna spin slowly. Oh, you know what I do want to do actually before I continue the spinning? I'm gonna get a new one. I just want to fix that the edge. Oh, I'm just getting white paint everywhere. Uh, one moment, please. I do want to. Just I don't want I don't want a line, you know. If that even is gonna show up, probably not. But whatever. Okay, here we go. Very sparkly, as you can imagine. Cool colors. But the edges that are like are coming off, so I probably could have put less pillow. Still cool looking, but unfortunately we're gonna have to keep spinning. I really like those. I'm seeing a lot of cool peacock cells that this edge so I don't want them to come off too much you're probably not even going to see the background that I did note to self put less paint down Lisa Marvin that always does seem to be my biggest problem doesn't it how are we doing yeah we're gonna have to do another spinsies but okay <clears throat> I do want to keep some of that silver so it is a lot of tilting back and forth. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope this wasn't a super waste of time because I got so excited about this hair dryer that wasn't even a win. However, this is kind of cool. And it shows you, like, you know, sometimes you've got to use different tools in your toolbox to get what you want. Um, and there you go. So I'm going to take you guys to the light. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, like, share, comment. Love you guys. I hope to see you on my Patreon page. Um, and let me know what you think of this guy. Too weird? I don't know. Like, the cells are really cool, I have to say. Okay. Bye.